Shanara Thomas, baby, what's happening? Welcome to the Baby Stretch Cloud Show. The live is live on live. What's happening, Christine? Christine, Miss Foot. Oh, Miss Foot. Let me tell you something, Miss Foot. <laughs> Were you in a movie called Secret Santa? You're goddamn right I was. <laughs> Christine, I was sitting in that movie like this. This is my face. This is my face the whole movie. <laughs> they ain't give a nigga no line. <laughs> they took my little line I had right off the movie. I was just sitting there. That my uncle in Florida saw that movie, Dear Secret Santa, and called my mama and said, All right, now I saw nephew on the movie with Tatiana Ali and Della Reese. Tell him next time, it's time for him to start saying something in some of these movies, okay? <laughs> I said, look how I'm trying to play you. All oh, your dirty bastard. You know I couldn't say nothing if the people don't tell me to say nothing. You think I want to chose to just sit there and look crazy the whole damn show? No. <laughs> I wanted to say a line too. They they, 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 said, they said my little line, took that motherfucker out, and had me sitting in that bitch for 30 minutes. They was like, don't smile, don't look, they just look like you're interested. I'm sitting in there like, well, but did y'all gonna play my line though? And they never did play my line, Nisha Scott, baby. They did the boy dirty in the little movie. But you know, at least I was there. I met Della Reese and I met Tatiana. I mean, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> I appreciate you recognizing that old little move out there years ago. What's up, Jimmy Ruffley? What's happening, Rich Jimmy? Hey, hold on, hold on. I got some new book that's dipping through for me one time for the one time. What's up, Regine? Regine Pierrot. What's happening, baby, from Moorhead City, North Carolina? On country, girl. What's up, baby? Welcome to the Living Special House Show. Y'all don't even know. Now, let me see. Danielle with the D, what's happening from Liverpool, England? Jimmy Ruffley, you say it's cool. You coming, your time coming. You damn right, my time coming, Rich Jimmy. You better let them know I'm a hustle until it do. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Who I'm going to give it to? Who I'm going to give it to? Uh, what's up, Tanira, baby? Tanira. What's up, baby? Tanira. What's up, Latoya Moody? 
My book ain't in the field, All my book ain't in here, putting them little red roses in the tank. Because I like my roses while I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't wait till I'm fast away. You know what resonates? Since you ain't here today, I'm going to get you another choice. Because I'm going to get you another choice. Hold on, DJ. 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 Hold
question first right here. What's up, uh, uh, Cedric Governor, my partner, my boogie bros that came through? Yeah. Come on, Julie. Let's go, baby. Oh, you in Lake Charles. All right. All right. Lake Charles, girl, Lake Charles. Lake Charles in the building. But the end was always everywhere, so you know. What's up, Maria Davis? How you doing? All right. Okay, here go the black trivia question. Name the first, I mean, name the youngest black. Now, this is a black trivia question. You got to know your shit. Get ready to type it in. Name the youngest black inaugural poet, a meaning a poet that did a poem for the inauguration. Name the first black inaugural poet in the history of the United States, the youngest. I mean, name the youngest black. This is a hard question to ask. Name the youngest black inaugural poet of the of the history of the U.S. You don't even have to put history of the U.S. All you have to do is say name the youngest black inaugural poet, period. Yeah, it ain't but one inauguration. It's in the United States. What's up, Misty? Yay. What's up, Misty? Stock? I'm glad you came on through. Let me see. Oh, damn, I cannot remember her name. Somebody said that girl. Y'all disrespect. Y'all, this girl is the first youngest black person to do something. And can't nobody remember her name. Somebody done put Nina Simone. Now, Julie, you know damn well Nina Simone ain't was no youngest to do no presidential uh, inauguration for it. Nina Simone, a damn singer. First off, she would have sung something. The, I think, you know what? I think the person who got it right then already came through. You talk about you forgot her name, Rose. See, that's why I do these black trivia questions. Because y'all be forgetting important people's names that don't be knowing them and don't, and don't understand why you don't know the answer. Don't know people check test you on some black shit and you black and you don't know. So that's why I do the let me stress you out black trivia question of the day every day on both shows. And the lady name and the little girl name is Amanda Gorman, ladies and gentlemen. Amanda Gorman did the first poem at our inauguration. She was the youngest person to ever do so. And she was a black young lady. So y'all need to remember her name. Janine Rowell, what's happening, baby? Yeah, Kevana Rose, what's up, brother? Yeah, let me see who said it first. I'm going to go back and look. Before I give out who it was, let me go back and look. Yeah, it looked like my partner, John Mann. John Mann said the answer correctly in the comments first. While all y'all were talking about y'all don't know. Or John Mann came to and said what he said. And y'all was, was confused. Y'all was fucked. John, thank you so much for coming through and keeping us on our J-O-B in our black people culture. You see what I'm saying? What's up, Lois Wilson, baby? Vegas is in the house, I heard. What's up, Julia Gates? You said it was the young girl of the Obama administration. No, she did that for this election that just passed, Julia. Do you know the crazy part is that we still have youngest black this and that coming up, even though in 2022, black people still ain't did some shit in this country and still got more work to do. So Amanda Gorman, youngest inaugural poet in the history of the United States. Shout out to her and shout out to you for getting the question right, John. So John, my vice president, has written John Man down. You have to come every day, especially on Friday, when I announce the winner of the Let Me Stress You Out Black Trivia Game Show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Julie, for coming, Julia, and Julia, and Julie. It's a bunch of y'all. What's up, Janine Roel, baby? Yeah, my book is in the building. What's up, Ashley? My girl, Ashley, came on to one time for the one time. Too. Yeah, well, know y'all trivia, please. I need y'all to know. Okay. Camille, let me see. Did I have any discrepancies in the chat? No. What's that in Amy Ross with the sauce? What's up, Deborah? Let's go. I mean, oh, I was about to say, Deborah, let's go get it. That girl name is Deborah Lola Gets. 
prophet. <laughs> oh, is it prophet or prof prophet? Deborah Lola Guess. Okay, you said you had it. Okay, y'all had it, but y'all ain't have it before John did. Thank you, John. Send it right. What's happening, baby? I'm glad you're still hanging in there. I need you. This is about to be a quick mole of 45 minutes. Y'all ain't too, because what the hell? You too busy. So put your headphones on and let's rock with this. Let me stretch you out so for this next 45. Hold it down every day. I need to build my repertoire with you personally, ladies and gentlemen. Not just on those videos. I need to see what y'all be talking about. I need to know. Who follow me and who I follow. What's up, Blaze E? What's happening, Blaze? I'm glad you stopped on too, baby. I needed you. I needed you to answer this ultimate ultimatum I'm about to give y'all. Ain't no options. This is the only option. The ultimate ultimatum. What's up, Robbie GC from Galveston? What's happening, baby? Glad you made it. Um, the ultimate ultimatum is, would you rather have, Blaze Keith, would you rather have a significant other or a person in your life who you love, who you're in a relationship with, to, who, uh, who apologizes excessively, apologize, apologize, apologize. They are constant. You ever meet that person that's a constant? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Sorry, 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 Would you rather have an excessive apology person or a person who gives no apology? Which one would you rather have? Too many or none at all? Georgia is in the building. What's up, Georgia? Georgia, go away, you. Just that old sweet song, keep Georgia on my mind. Niggas could get a deal with a voice like mine back in the day. You can't get no deal with this type of voice I got no more. They stopped giving away deals to us. They don't give us no record deals no more. Raskin niggas is out. Yeah, sorry, Georgia. Y'all ruined it for the, the raskin niggas. Yeah. John Mann said he would have rather have a woman who gives no apologies than excessive apologies. That is the ultimate ultimatum that he's choosing from. Julie Brady said, oh, that's a good one. Which one would you take? Ashley O'Brien, come on through, baby. I need a, I need a good, wholesome white girl for a second. You know what I'm saying? What's happening? Uh... What's happening, and Toya Moody? Toya Moody said, I'll take the excessive apologizing. What I want. Bonnie Mellon says, I'll take excessive. I can tune him out. Brandon Beverly says, they may not really mean it, though. I'll take no apologies at all. Kyle Williams, my big product, stops in this place, too. My good level-headed big brother came on in here, my partner Kyle Williams. He said he would rather have no apology. Sorry means you probably really sorry. Okay. If you take no, wait, he'll take the person with no apologies because if they do say sorry, you probably really sorry. Okay. Brandon Beverly said if they say too much, they probably don't mean it. Ashley Bryan said, I will take a person or a man or a woman, whichever one of y'all, so which y'all choose. I don't know y'all business. But she says she will take no apology because you can show me you're sorry better than you can tell me you're sorry. Ooh, she been hanging around too many black, black people. She, see, this ain't no standard white woman here. This, this one that knew the coach, I think, a little too well. Yeah, she said, because you got to show me your thoughts. You can't just tell me. I could just hear that coming out of black person. Uh, let me see. Cedric said, I mean, give me the excessive, but I'd stop it and have a discussion. Cedric, you can't change them now. Whichever one you pick is the one you pick. You can't change people. People ain't going to change on your schedule. Now. Yeah, whatever you chose. Because that's what you got. So if you picking a person who's going to be, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. All the time, 
then that's what you get. Yeah. Even if they ain't did nothing wrong, they say, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can step on their toe. They be like, ah, I'm sorry. My toe shouldn't have been right there. I'm sorry. You like, damn. <laughs> you apologize, I step on your shit. What's happening, Shawana Shanks? Shawana Shanks saying you ain't gonna step on my toe and not say sorry. Well, Shawana Shanks saying the person who don't give no apology or step on your shit and keep on walking. <laughs> They'll be like, crunch, ah, shit. You stepped on my toe. Oh, okay, I stepped on your shit. Okay. <laughs> You'll be like, hey, hey, motherfucker. You step on my shit. <laughs> Nisha Scott, would you take in the ultimate ultimatum excessive apologies or no apologies? And you know what excessive is. Too much is excess. Uh, John Mann said, my soul shouldn't have been there. And laugh out loud, laugh out loud. All that laughing keep getting in here. What's that then, Maria Davis, baby? You say you're, oh, hello, Blaze. Blaze Keys is in here. What's that then, Nisha Scott? You in there laughing at Kiki and two, I see. All right, let me go back and see what y'all were saying while I was running my mouth. Yep, Vice President said, actions speak louder than words. Just change, don't apologize. Danielle with the D from Liverpool, England, says no apologies from her man. Yep, she going with the no apologies. Deborah Lola gets said apologize, but by all means, don't say you can ask my mama. What? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Deborah Deborah said apologize, but by all means, don't say you can ask my mama. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means. Um, what's happening, Don Vivian Jones McCullough? What's up, baby? What's up, Nisha Scott? D Nisha Scott said none. Don't apologize to me. I don't give a F. That's what she said, Nisha. Nisha says she'll take a person with no apologies before she take a person with excessive apologies. It sounds like y'all get really a apology at, uh, uh, attitudes if somebody over apologize to y'all. What's happening, Nikita White, baby? You're late, but you're right on time for this ride. Kyle Williams said the no apologies for the win. Yeah, it looks like a check full of no apologies. People don't want to hear that all that I'm sorry shit. People don't want to hear that I'm sorry for 2004. That was Ruben Studdard. That's old. Nobody want to hear all that I'm sorry shit no more. Just stop doing what you're doing. You won't have to apologize. But if they apologize excessively, that means they ain't even doing shit. And they apologize. That mean they don't even, they just walk by. I'm sorry. Like, damn, you ain't do nothing but walk by me. Did you pass gas? What did you do? No, no, I'm just sorry. I'm just so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. I apologize. You know what? I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> they done said it every damn way you can say it after a while. Ooh, Lord is aggravating. Come here. What's happening, baby? Damn right, you're sorry. <laughs> no, old Ike Turner quotes in here. <laughs> Ike Turner was a Lord, I don't dirt at all, boy. Oh, Ike Turner would shit. Oh, Ike Turner would shit to the highest of ancient Timothy. Oh, that nigga was doing cocaine, beating on poor old Tina Turner. Till Tina Turner put them, just kicked them with them big old legs. Then that ruined everything. He done had that lady dancing so much that lady could squat about 200, 300 pounds. She kicked Ike Turner, boy, it was over for him. He ain't never want to put a hand on her again. What's happening? Uh, you say people feel like, oh, hold up. People feel like they have to apologize to appease folks, but turn around and do the same junk as it's fake. Oh, I can tell that's Camille by the comment. I could tell that sound like Camille, even though I see Facebook user up here. I know it can't be nobody but you. What's that in Nook Bush? Ooh, put some stink on it, Danielle, with the D said. That I, see, I got the coolest white folks. The coolest white folks fuck with Boogie B. Not everybody. Not all of them. Because y'all can look at my page. 
Y'all know most white people don't agree with old Boogie B. But the ones that fuck with me that come on here, these the ones right here, these are the ones you need in your life. I need it in these our allies. What's happening, baby? Yeah, Maria Davis, y'all already know what it is. Yeah, I turn it with shit. And then, but yeah, my father Kyle Williams quoted uh, Ike Turner and said, You're damn right, you're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Ike Turner said, You're damn right, you're sorry. I'm sorry, Ike. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. Yeah, we the ones that matter, brother. You're damn right. What's that? Then, final answer I'll take the apology overload. Wow, Joe Buku. Said he's taking excessive apologies before he mess with a girl who doesn't apologize at all. Ooh, okay. Well, it's no right or wrong answer, Joe. You know, whatever you pick is what you pick. This is the ultimate ultimatum. Ain't no right or wrong answer in this game. Hit that cash app, though, for me. Dollar sign, book it together, LC. You can see it right here. Don't ignore it. I'm up here, too. I'm working for it. Don't ignore it. Dollar sign, book it, B-L-L-C. Ain't nobody live. Only live. Talking to y'all like this, been acting wrong, giving y'all something to do and something to watch and enjoy each other company in the chat. Ain't nobody doing that. Other people just on there eating the chicken legs, smoking the weed, drinking, listening to some music. They ain't reading the damn comments that you type in. But old Boogie B right here for you, baby. Every day, five days a week, come on through with something. I copy your little bags or something, too. Every time I start talking about that money, here they go. Here they go, devil. As soon as I start hitting the bag, it's all good when it's junky, 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 junky. But soon as they got them collection plate come around, here go these niggas. Yeah, got to go to the bathroom all of a sudden. When the collection plate come around. Yeah. What's that, everybody, Melly? Yeah. What's up, Robbie GC? You know what they be doing on these pages. Yeah. Blake T saying you only going to get an apology from me. Except only going to get one apology from me, except that I'm not. That's your boot. That's your boo. Okay, all right. That's my boo then. All right. At night, I think of you. I want to be your... That was my shit. What's up, um, Cedric? Cedric, they're here laughing at Kiki. The doors of the church are always open. You got them right, Robbie GT. Shit, I need help. Y'all be donating to Creflo a dollar. Call me Creflo a boogie. <laughs> Yay. Blaze Keys. In normal relationships, you don't have to pick from excessive apologies or no apologies at all. You could just meet halfway, apologize when you're wrong or when you mean it, and don't keep apologizing over, 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 over like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, with that being said, hold on, stop the press. Ashley O'Brien said, check that cash out, Boogie B. I had some for the collection plate today. Hey, man. Hey, man. Ooh, look at God. Won't he do it? Look at God. He always got me. I don't know why. You know what, Don Vivian Jones McCullough? Thank you for blessing me on that cash out, baby. I sure needed that. You came on through with the highest of amounts that you could come through with. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much. And my good friend Ashley came on through with a little something to on the chain. I appreciate all that. Yeah. Thank y'all, guys. I should get me a whole. Ooh. Your ass, I think I'd be like, hey, when I get that money, <laughs> this is what I do if I ain't If I is a lot of old school dance for that money, baby. Ooh, for some reason, money put you in the old mood. Don't let you be an everybody. Anytime somebody gets up there, ooh, your money, you going to hit the old life. You ain't hit it a minute. Ooh, you get some money. Like my duck, I'm fresh. Don't get no thank y'all so much for hitting that cash out. Y'all going to have me dance all goddamn day if y'all keep getting that motherfucker like that. Ooh, it's gonna be a dance. This is gonna be a dance a time in a minute. Y'all eating that cash out with such ferocity. Thank you so much, Book I appreciate y'all. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. If I had to pick between excessive apologies 
or no apologies. But, whew, no apologies is tough for me to. Excessive is a problem and no is a problem. And I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Ah. I would take oh. this one too tough for me to pick. I would take it. Excessive apologies. Fuck it. I'll take this second. Yeah, it's gonna get on my nerves, but at least, at least, at least, it's gonna get on my nerves that you apologize too much. But I'm gonna keep correcting you when it's time for you not to apologize. But at least you apologize when you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> If Blaze said you gotta pick one, I know you gotta pick one shit. I made the game up. <laughs> All right. Team excessive, Joe Bugu. We the minority, but whatever. Y'all can pick what y'all want. It's the ultimate ultimatum. Shit. I would rather have somebody be saying I'm sorry to me all the time than the motherfucker who act like they ain't never sorry. God damn. You ain't never sorry for nothing. You done. You done stepped on my foot. You done called my mama bald headed. You done did all type of shit. You ain't gonna apologize for nothing. Because you know people do say stuff sometimes and do things that they are sorry for. So if you genuinely sorry, it's cool. But I would rather you only save the apology so you need them. But I'll take them all the time. Shit. I'll just tell you, well, that ain't really an apology moment, but go ahead. I'll just tell you every time. I ain't going to get you to stop because that's who you are. But I am going to remind you that that's not no good thing to apologize for because you ain't do nothing. But I'm going to accept the apology anyway. I want all that. I want all mine. Yeah, come on with mine. It's Carol. Carolyn, accessible apologies for me, baby. I don't know what y'all pick. Y'all pick no, no apologies. I can't deal with that. No apologies come off like your asshole. Excessive ap apologies come off like you too nice. And I would rather you be too nice than be an asshole. Come on, nice shit. You know, come up, step no bumping into people and don't you 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 bump into a kid, don't apologize to the child. You don't apologize to nobody. You just out here bad. No hell no. I'll take the too many apologies. It's gonna get aggravating, but I can put up with it, trust me. I go put up with it, and I know I'm going to be aggravated, and I know I'm going to keep talking to y'all about it, but I'm going to be like, hey, save your apologies, okay, until you really need them. But you're going to keep apologizing anyway, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Boogie. I'm so sorry, Boogie. I am so sorry, Boogie. I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, well, you're right. Yeah, shit, I ain't going to keep arguing with you. You sorry, you sorry. I'm going to just ignore it. I'd rather have that than have no apologies at all. Ooh, that'd be tough. Yeah, Jimmy Ruffley, he an asshole too. He ain't apologizing, so he don't need your apologies. Y'all both would just be two unapologetic motherfuckers. What's that in the camera? Yeah, you, if somebody never apologized, they gonna come off like an asshole to everybody. But if somebody apologized too much, they just come off nicer. Even though it's a fake nice, I would rather you be fake nice than real mean shit. Get your mean ass on about your business. Be fake nice like the rest of us got to. When we at work, we got to apologize to everybody. We apologize to everybody. Is I'm lying, Bobby Anderson? Bobby, is I'm telling the truth, though. And I bet you at work, you be, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> when y'all got them little funky-ass corporate jobs, oh, no, I'm so sorry. You not really sorry. You just saying that because you at work. But you got to say, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry we're out of mayonnaise. I'm so sorry we're out of chicken. I'm so sorry we're out of soy. I'm so sorry we don't have any more Polynesian sauce. They not really sorry. They don't give a fuck about that. They just saying that because the boss told them to. 
and the boss tell them to because it makes you seem nicer. Apologies make you seem nice. No apologies make you seem like an asshole. If I had to pick from excessive apologies or no apologies, I'll take the aggravating ass excessive apology. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna start ignoring them after a while, but it don't mean you can't, you can't, you got to stop saying them. You could keep saying them, but I'm gonna ignore them, so it don't matter. But just, just be apologetic. Just be apologetic because it comes off nice, even if it's not. Yeah. We're out of first. Okay, well, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Linda Williams. Y'all pick what y'all pick. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. You know, it depends on your personality. It don't matter which one you pick. You can pick no apologies, and it's totally nothing wrong with it. I can't pick it. But uh, y'all can pick it, because I'm be like, now this, I, I know this thing half ain't just bumping, step on my foot like that. I know she ain't just stepped on my shit. I know damn well she gonna turn around and say, excuse me in a minute. If she keep on walking, I'm going to be like, oh, I'll bust you in your back of your head with a verb energy bar, bitch. I wish it was bumping to me and don't say nothing. Bye, hit you in the back with this pack of verb energies. Speaking of verb energies, all of your verb energy balls, ladies and gentlemen, so you can hit somebody in the back without going to jail because the pack is soft. Yeah. You said, I'm sorry I gl gave you blue balls last night. Yeah, I'll take that on apology. Yeah, if you gave me blue balls, I would like an apology. I asked you for an apology. Look, man, you gave me blue balls last night with all that plan, Blaze. Blaze talking about, okay, well, hey, you just got blue balls then. I'm like, damn, you ain't going to apologize? Shit. Ooh. You pack a verb in your ball. I don't fuck that. I'm going to turn around and shot fuck this motherfucker at you. <laughs> I'm going to shot fuck, uh, shot fuck a bag of uh, Jimmy Ruffley. If she, somebody don't apologize to me sometime, I'll be no offended. I'll be the shot fuck that damn bag of verb in the balls a block away, bust him back in the head with it. Don't try to play me like that, play hater. Let me see. He did, wait, he did leave my comments for a few with the Facebook stuff about or say he's talking about you can't explain. <coughs> Unblock whatever he's blocked. I ain't blocking a damn thing. I'm just blocking anything. That's strictly on Facebook. It's something on your account. It don't got nothing to do with mine. Yeah, because I can see you over here. I just can't see you on the uh, Restream app. That means there's something going on with your page. Maybe you need to update them. Maybe you need to update your Facebook page too, some of y'all. Update your app. Go to your app store and press the software update or whatever it say update if it say update click. So that way your uh shit'll show up. What's up, Event Nelson? Thank you for dropping your stars, baby. You hit a real nigga with 50 cents. You can hit with more than that, I think. 50 cents ain't shit to you, my damn event. Woo, y'all be tight with that little money, boy. Lord. 50 cents? Damn. You could at least hit a nigga with five dollars. God damn. Woo, y'all be tight on the internet, boy. I realize you probably gave me a five. You gonna tip me with a damn 50 cent piece. You gonna fit, you gonna tip me with the two bits? Hell no. I'm worth more than that. Hey, body Melly, shop fuck alone is worth more than that. I said I was going, if somebody didn't apologize to me and they did something wrong to me, I was going to shock, not, not just throw it. I'm going to shock fucking and bust in the back of the head with this bag of burning energy ball. <laughs> now hit that goddamn cash out with something, boy. Hit the bags with a little something else. Hit, hit with a little seasoning on it next time. I appreciate it, though. Thank you so much, Event Baby, because you're the only one that came through for me anyway. <laughs> Y'all, oh, Kyle got me something. Yeah, Kyle. Now, Kyle sent me a couple stars. He's in my shit every day, though. Well, thank y'all so much who all in that cash up, and thank y'all so much who all got them stars. I appreciate that. Oh, Event. Okay, my bad, Event. I'm just playing, but I know you two got money, though. I know you got money, though, because people with money is always attracted to other people with money. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. 
conundrum time. I can tell that's Camille. It says Facebook user, but I know it's not. Camille said it's conundrum time. Now, let me tell y'all what this Wednesday's conundrum of the day is. It's a hunch day Wednesday, so you know it's going to be a little more risque than the other days sometimes. You know what I'm saying? On Wednesday, it get a little graphic, to say the least. <laughs> so what happened today in the relationship conundrum of the day? Thank you, Joe. Uh, my boogie bro said he lived with his girl, lover, everything going great in the relationship. Yesterday, she asked him to go on a vacation with him. They wanted, she wanted to go on vacation together. And she wants to go to a nudist colony for their vacation. My boogie bro said, what the hell? My lady asking me to go around some naked birds. What is she asking me to go around these dingling, these dick, dick? It's going to be a dick rama out there. I don't want to go see no nudist colony. So he wants to know what, what he should do. What does that mean? Does he go with her? He don't want to do it, but she asked him to do it. To so go on a vacation to a nudist colony. Danielle with the D said, that's a no for me. Robbie GC said, pack your empty bag. Joe Abuku said, count me out. He not going. Yeah. Shawana Shanks, my LGBTQ community representative ambassador, said, well, I don't see the problem. What is the problem about him? Her wanting to go to a nudist colony for y'all vacation. What's the problem? What could be the conundrum here? <laughs> the conundrum is where this comes from. Yeah. What you say, Blaze? You going? So when your man come to you and say, babe, I got us a vacation. Uh, I want us to go to this little trip. We're going to Jamaica to this little nudist. To this little nudist colony, you know what I'm saying? We're going to check out some coochies, some titties, some dingling, you know what I'm saying? Peruse a little bit, if you will. I don't know what y'all be doing. Blaze, he say, yo, no, she's going. She's going with our man. Brandon Beverly said, is he insecure? Um, I don't know. But you know it is a little suspect if somebody just busts out the blue with a vacation to see some nakedness. Yeah, say it, say it, uh, she is going to, going to that thing swinging. Believe that. Cedric Governor says, if you ask them to go to the nudist colony and y'all make a relationship, for y'all first vacation, he said he is going. Amen. 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 Patrick is going to see that old dingling. Yep. You ain't going to be able to avoid looking at birds if you're over there. I'm just letting y'all tell them through that. Mina, what's happening, baby? You're late, but you're right on time for the crime. Mina said, I wouldn't, because it's always the people you don't want to see that's naked. Look, Mina, it sounds like you know what you're talking about, baby. You said you wouldn't go because it's always people that you don't want to see naked. Now, keep in mind, when y'all go to nudist colonies or nudist resorts or whatever y'all going to, it's naked bodies around, but it ain't necessarily attractive naked bodies. Sometimes you think it's all Playboy bunnies walking around there with ass and titties, huh? Oh, no, baby. It's grandmothers, grandmas, grandpas, papas, nannies, parents, uh, uh, big mamas. Uh, everybody is over there naked when you go. Yeah, you're going to see some long balls, long dingling, short birds. You're going to see a little pink white dingling sitting on top of some balls. You're going to see all type of shit. It, it, look, a brand new talking about who granny is this? Your granny. Yeah. All y'all grannies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be a whole bunch of older people over 50. Well, you know you somebody damn grandma. You over there naked, dingling out. Your granddaddy, dingling out, balls out, chest hair out. Don't give a damn about it. 
Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't all no young models over there. She, Camille said, nobody told a fuck, but somebody's be tore up. Yeah, she don't give a fudge. It's swinging and hanging. Okay, bye bye. Oh, swinging and hanging. All right, well, let them out then. Yeah, you're going to see some long ones now. Long everything. Long everything. Everything that could be long on a person, you're going to see it. Yeah, Shawana Shank said, no embarrassment island. Ain't no embarrassment island. I'm just preparing yourself for what you're going to see. I need to set a real, realistic expectation for a lot of y'all. Yeah. Yeah, please, fresh hold up, uh, Deborah. You never know what you're going to see when you go over there. If I'm lying about it, they yell with the beat. They yell in Liverpool, England, y'all. You know about the Jamaicans. Go over to Jamaica. They got something called Edenism. Y'all can go over there and see all the dicks and cats you want. Yeah, it's going to be all. They just hang out naked, play cards, be in the pool. I damn sure they ain't getting no pool naked. Hell no. Nah, you going to have to catch me on another day, baby. I could catch me out the hot tub naked, but they don't catch me out no pool naked. No, sir. What's that, Lemina? Oh, Mia Duvernay. Mia Duvernay, baby. What's happening? Okay, let me see. I know I look sexy, damn it. I'm going to still pop lock and drop it, daddy. Okay. Well, sounds like y'all uh, going to either one, the nudist colony or the heat of this. Uh -huh. Which one y'all going to? Nasty both ways. Both ways is nakedness on your vacation with your lady. Which one is y'all picking? Now, most of y'all said y'all going. That's cool. You're going ahead and go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Most of y'all sound like y'all going on over there. Yeah, Negro. Okay, Linda Williams, know about it. Linda Williams done been naked over there before, sounds like. Yeah, uh, let me see. Just walk, up, walk along the strip and you'll see them. Danielle with the D said in Liverpool, you just walk along the strip and you'll see all the naked people that you want. Vice President said it sounds fun to go look at the birds and cats. Let me see. Them camels running in stride. Yep. There's a whole bunch of nakedness over there now. Yep. Frederica said, I'm going. Let me see them birds. See, that? that's the kind of attitude I don't like. See, that's what makes me not even want to do it now. See how they just be eager to go look at the figly? No, you know what? I'm questioning mine. The WWBBD, what would Boogie B do? I wish my damn lady would come here and tell me some, yeah, babe, let's go over to this nudist colony on the vacation. Nudist colony? Whoa, 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 whoa. What you talking about some nudist colony? Where you get this idea from? So you been this what you been doing? I done been with you all this time. Come to find out you like to be decking around people in public? You out here straight freaked out in the game, huh? You on next level, ain't you? Oh, okay. Well, you should have been told me. Hell no, I ain't going to this shit. You ain't either. Yeah, because you're trying to go over there and see them dicks on the cool. No, nah, this is this, this, oh, this the last dick you're going to see. This is the last one you're going to see. We going to a new this college. It's going to be all women. Yeah, it's going to be you and a whole bunch of other women. And then that's going to that's gonna be the colony me and you going to. You ain't about to be bird watching on my time. Next thing you know, you see one of them big old Jamaican dicks come by. You like, say, girl, I, I, I. don't look at that. Don't you even get that idea in your head. That's no, you ain't ready for all that. Hell no. What is your motive to want to go even over there? What made you think about who gave you this pamphlet? We done been together two years. Who gave you this pamphlet? All of a sudden, you want to go be naked. Who gave you this pamphlet? To the nudist colony. You come to present me with a trip. I'm thinking we going to Cancun, Cabo. You talking about some naked. Naked. Now, well, why we just can't go on the regular vacation? What we got to be naked for? Why we got to go to a nudist whole colony? Why we everybody got to be naked? Why can't we just go somewhere where some people are naked, some people ain't? You know what I'm saying? Some people fucking, some people ain't. That way, it's no pressure. We could just walk around. And if you look at a ding -ling, that means that's what you went over there for. Yeah, yeah. Look at Frederica talking about, I'm surely going to be bird watching. 
Look at that. I call I call Dick a bird. It flies out for the winter. Pokey, poke, poke. Yeah. Uh, Frederica going over there to look. And that's why your ass ain't going. That's why we can turn them tickets in. Turn them tickets in. Let's get another. Matter of fact, we going to, we going to Miami. We ain't even going wherever that is. We going to Miami. We ain't going to Jamaica. Tell them to stop our boat off in Cuba. We going to Cuba. Yeah, let's check out some Cuban cuisine while you out here trying to see a ding a ring. Yeah, we ain't doing that. Hell no. Hell no. If I bring up the idea, if I bring it up, then 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 we can do it. But if you bring it up, it's weird. It's weird for a woman to want to go to a nudist colony so bad that she got to have a whole vacation to go do it. No. Nah, Topless Beach, that's okay. Topless Beach is okay, Ashley. You know, everybody's seen titties before. Titties in school. Ain't nobody like, you know, ain't no, you know, it's chest out. Everybody chest out. Let's go chest out. Yeah, we can go out there and do that. Ain't got to worry about you seeing no big old dicks and getting horny or get, getting no idea. I'm a damn. It'll be just my luck. I take you to the town. It is a double standard all the night. Life ain't fair. Shit. Hey, I'll be damned if I take my woman over there and see them big old dingalines. I can't take it. Hell no. Nope. Well, don't offer to take me to see no coochie either. I don't want to see that coochie unless you want me to see it. Because <laughs> you can see coochie dingaline on the internet. Why the hell we got to go participate in the middle of it? Why we got to go to the island to enjoy it? I don't want to see that shit. Let me pick the coochies and breasts I want to look at online like every other natural American in the country. It ain't no damn double standard. If I ask you then you have the right to say yay or nay. But if you ask me, it's damn your name. Don't even worry about it. You over there nasty. What the hell you been doing? What the hell you been doing that got you on this? What, 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 what nigga done took you over here? Because whatever nigga bring you to a nudist colony got a big old dingley. Yeah. Ain't no dude just taking you over there. He know his bird little. He taking you over there because he going over there to compete. With them niggas. Yeah, if you want to go to a nudist colony, that means you want to see booty, coochies, titties, stomachs, arm flaps, all kind of shit you're going to go see over there. What the hell is starting you all about this? Yeah, you going to a beach with men on it? Yeah, you going by your damn self. And guess what? When you go to that beach with men on it, they ain't even gonna be looking at you. They gonna all work. they gonna be only looking at men. Yeah. Yeah, you can go on over to that beach. I'm gonna be at the hotel. Yeah, go over to that beach where all them niggas at if you want to. The niggas gonna be like, hey girl, show a glass to have you on the beach. You look so cute in your little two piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to all male uh, beach if you want to. In this day and age, I don't want to see everybody naked. Shit, I only want to see select people naked. And if it's going to be over there, you, if you want to go to a new college, it's going to be all bad bitches. And it's going to be all model niggas. Still, the answer is no. Because we ain't going over there and look at no niggas that look better than the niggas that you got. Yeah, okay, well, fine. You see them on the internet. You can enjoy them. It's other ways for you to enjoy them, But not on my vacation. What the hell? I got to be put through that shit for during a vacation. This supposed to be relaxed. This shit is uncomfortable. Why I got to be uncomfortable through my vacation? I got to walk around with my tingling covered up, jacking it, trying to make sure it stay a little bit hard. Can't somebody see it? You know what I'm saying? Hey, hold on, Candace Russian. You say, hey, let me talk to you. Okay, well, say what you got to say, Candace. 
Yeah, what's up, Ross? Boo, I'm glad you came on too. What's up? Yeah, let me see what y'all was talking about. Yeah. Oh, like women only. Oh, they like women only. Okay, well, well, you gonna get lucky and find that bitch. Yeah. So many have big bird minds, but not big birds in reality. Oh, that's true. Some of them do be having some small birds over there too. You gonna have to partake on those as well, and that's gonna be disgusting. Big dick look okay. Big dick look okay. Small dick looks terrible. There's no way you can make that look good. You can't dress it up. It's all if it's out, I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, man, god damn, brother, put your damn drawers on, man. Oh, god, oh. And put that little ass ugly ass dick away. Put that shit back in your, put that dick in your pocket. Don't even put that in your pants. Put it in your, <laughs> put it in that little pocket that's inside of your other pocket. Put it in that. You, you can hold on to it till you get home. I don't want to see the little dick in about. I don't want to see no little one and I damn sure don't want to see no dick. I don't want to see no dick. So my vacation is zero. None other than mine. Yeah. How about a pretty just the right size? I damn sure don't want to see that one either. And I don't want you to see it. Not while I'm while I'm seeing it. <laughs> see that motherfucker on your own time, all the shit. <laughs> if you about to go over to Jamaica to see some perfect dingling, you don't need to be going with me. I don't want to see the perfect me. What type of relationship you think this is? Hell no, I'm out. I'm out, no, I, I'm out on the nudist colony, and I'm be questioning why my woman want to go over there so bad. What you trying to get the train run on you? What you trying to get some dingling, look at some coochie? What you trying to do? If you trying to just look at some coochie or get some coochie, just let me know now. We ain't got to go over to no whole new colony, new beach. I got to be uncomfortable. We, if you want some cat, we can just get you some cat right here locally. We ain't got to go out the country on no vacation to get you some cat. If you trying to look at a coochie, it's coochies everywhere you can look at. Strip club, anything, whatever you trying to look at. Strip club, you go anywhere. Hookers, there's all type of stuff right around us. Why the hell are we going all the way to Jamaica to be naked? Walk around naked with some people. They, some of them ain't even having sex. Dicks just always soft. Coochie just titties, just hanging. I don't want to see all that. These people, grandmothers, grandfathers, I don't want to just watch them like that. You gonna turn me off. My nigga man ain't gonna never get hard around all these people. It's gonna be embarrassing. Hell no. Nah. Oh, a commercial came on. Boogie is extra, extra irking. These commercials. Oh, I ain't know they had commercials on y'all page. Well, I hope they give me some money for them. Anyways, thank y'all so much for coming to the Let Me Stretch Wild Show, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all y'all individually and as a group, as I always say. Thank you so much, Brandon Beverly. Thank you so much for coming, brother. Thank you, Amy Ross with the sauce from New Orleans. Thank you, Linda Williams. Thank you, Camille. I appreciate it, baby. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate your donation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robbie GC. I appreciate you coming, baby. Thank you so much. Let me see. Thank you, Tanya Vassa, for coming, baby, even though I couldn't see your name pop up. Thank you, Ron Boo, for stopping on Duke one time for the one time. Thank you, Deborah, for hollering at your boy. I need you every day. Thank you, Candace. I need you to come back every day, baby. I need y'all to come. This is the end of the Let Me Stretch Wild Show. I'm going to catch y'all right here on this live tomorrow at the same time. Let's go on over to IG and start the conversation all over. Come on and go with me, everybody. Come on over to IG. I said it ain't far from me. Even if you're watching a replay, go to my IG anyway. Fuck that. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow, Vice President. Pack us up. We out of here.